crime on, on and off of UC's campus is down overall, but recently police have seen a spike in break-ins. It's happening just as the university is welcoming its largest freshman class in the school's history. Angela Ingram joins us live now with how officers are addressing this problem. Angela? Well, Adam, part of the scariest problem with this is that in some cases, the students are actually a home, at home asleep while burglars are walking through their home, stealing their property, and police are afraid that this could lead to a confrontation. So what they're doing is they're teaming up to put together a campaign to deal with the problem. Each year, thousands of students live off campus, and each year, police see an increase in break-ins. Actually, in the past few places that I've lived, I've either had a neighbor or um, a suite mate have their place ransacked and burglarized. They're really alarming um, this, uh, this time of year. Um, in the last 28 days, we've seen a huge spike in burglaries. The house where student Jaden Lawrence lives was hit by burglars in July, but Jaden's apartment was secure, so he did not have his thing stolen. Got new locks on the house. Like, oh, don't tell like, anyone that comes over, like our passcode. UC police are teaming up with Cincinnati officers to try to reduce the problems on and off campus. Break-ins have been happening on streets like Wheeler, Warner, and Ravine. They have a sign campaign to serve as reminders to the students to lock up their homes and not leave anything in their cars. When these kids come up here, they have bring a lot of valuables, laptops, cell phones. Um, they have their, you know, their, their personal devices and that, that's what's it's easy to take, it's easy to, to pawn off. So you don't leave your laptop in any of that? <laughs> no, I got nothing in my car. But it's not just a problem of theft. Police are concerned about student safety. We are starting to see a pattern of the students being home in the late evening hours and awakening to somebody um, either over top of them um, or walking out the door. And I don't want to see this connection where we have violence. What happens if they, if you come home and they are in your home? At that point, more likely than not, you're going to have a violent confrontation. Officers are hoping landlords will help as well, saying newer locks and securing air conditioning units will make it harder for criminals to get in. So we are just really trying to keep the students safe. And you see police recently did an inspection of some of these properties with the landlords and found some things that were troubling to them, like the locks and the air conditioners that need to be replaced or secured properly. Officers are telling us the trend right now is that the break-ins are occurring while the kids are at home on the weekends because the people who do this, who are criminals in the area, they know sometimes that those students go back home and that's when they take the opportunity to break in. Reporting live, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Adam, back to you. Yeah, it happens this year, uh, this time every year, it seems like. Angela, thank you for that. Uh, police will have a door hanger event this Saturday. Officers will partner with students to hang safety reminders.